Marigliano, Director for the ACE Financial Professional Support Team. The purpose of this video is to walk you through the client experience when it comes to completing the application through Penn Mutual's Accelerate Client Experience, better known as ACE. After watching this video, you should be able to help your client navigate Penn Mutual's registration as well as verification process. You'll also be able to let your client know what to expect when it comes time for them to answer the life and health questions. If you're looking for guidance on a specific part of the process, be sure to check out the description below for the time markers that can take you directly there. Once you invite your client to the application process, your client will receive the following email. This email will invite them to the application process. When your client receives this email, it's going to come from Penn Mutual, no reply dash registration at PennMutual.com. In the email, it will invite them to register. So your client, will, all they have to do is click on the register button. When they do that, they'll be taken to Penn Mutual's registration page. Here, they will need to create a username and password. Now, just keep in mind, the username and password that your client creates will be the username and password that they will have during the whole entire time there with Penn Mutual. Once they enter their information, they'll click on next, and then they'll have to enter their demographic information. Once that's done, they'll click on next again. Now they'll enter their phone number. The phone number that is entered should be one that's able to receive text messages as they will need to uh, go through our multi-factor authentication. Once that's entered, click on continue. Your client will need to verify all the information on the screen to ensure that everything is correct. In addition, if they wish to review our terms and conditions, they can do so by clicking on terms and conditions. Once they've reviewed it, they can click on I agree and then click on register. Once they've done that, now it's time for them to check their email. In their email will be a verification email from Penn Mutual for them to verify their account. Here's the verification email that they'll receive from Penn Mutual. Subject line will read, verify your email to complete your Penn Mutual profile. And it will come from no reply registration at PennMutual.com. When they receive this email, all they have to do is click on verify email. And once they do that, they'll just need to log in. Once they're logged in, now they're in the application. In the application, they'll be able to see all the information that you've already answered on their behalf. I would encourage you to have your client review the information for accuracy. As you can see here, date of birth and social security number are now filled out as it carried over from the client registration. As your client reviews the information on the page, if everything looks accurate, they can go ahead and click on save next. If anything needs to be updated, they're more than welcome to make the updates here. And then once the updates are completed, they can click on save and next. Once they click on save and next, for security purposes, we do ask them to re-enter their date of birth and social security number to ensure that the information we have is correct. If the information that they re-enter is correct, it will say confirmed at the bottom. If it is not correct, and I'll show you right here, if the information is not correct, you will get an alert stating that the value does not match what's on the application. At this point in time, I would encourage you to review the information that's provided in the verification as well as the information that's provided on the application. If the information on the application is incorrect, you will need to reach out to the ACE Financial Professional Support Team for additional assistance. But if it's just the information on this page that is incorrect, all they need to do is correct it here and they'll say confirmed once again. Once they enter the date of birth and social security number, if everything is confirmed, they just have to check off these two boxes here and click on continue. Next, it will take them to the HIPAA authorization and consent. This is where the client will give Penn Mutual authorization to 
run third-party checks, as well as run MI Bank. Client will review all the information within here. And once they've reviewed everything, if they agree to the terms and conditions provided and outlined here, they'll check off the box and click on continue. Now they've entered my life and health. So now they're going to answer questions under a couple different categories. As you'll see here, all the questions that are not yet answered will be highlighted yellow. As they answer the questions, it will turn white. It's an easy way for them to identify which questions have been answered and which questions may have been accidentally skipped. The client will be answering questions regarding their employment, uh, any past insurance that they may have applied for, um, as well as questions about foreign travel, um, hazardous sports, aviation, etc. They will also answer questions regarding their health, including when was the last time they visited their physician, prescriptions, if they have any prescriptions, make sure they have their dosage and how many times they take it before they answer the question on the application. They'll also need to enter their height and their weight, and they will also have to answer questions regarding tobacco use. Now the questions that are asked on the life and health are reflexive. So for any yes answer, there may be a follow-up question and it will continue to reflex until all questions are answered. As you can see here, in the upper right hand corner, I skipped a question. So if you happen to miss a question by accident, you can click on the shortcut that says, take me there. And it'll take you to the question that you accidentally skipped. And as you can see, it stands out because it is highlighted yellow. And I'm gonna scroll down. Oh, I missed another question down here. Once they've answered all those questions, they can click on continue. And the final page in this section is the attestation. So the client will need to attest that all the answers that, are, that were provided are true to the best of their knowledge. So I'll check off the box and then lock answers and proceed. Once they do that, the responses to the life and health will go through our underwriting engine. That with our, will also run our third party checks and based on the responses, will determine whether or not your client's eligible for accelerated underwriting or if they need to be referred to the underwriter for further review. As you can see here, over here in the right hand corner, you'll see congratulations, applications completed and you'll be notified when it's ready for signing. And then you'll also see here in the center, our underwriting engine has completed its review and you, the financial professional, will be able to see what the outcome is. Now, at this stage, if your client realizes, oh, they forgot to um, provide additional details regarding, regarding a certain question that they answered yes, or there's, they need to go back in and correct the answer, they're able to do that by clicking on edit responses. When they do that, it will take them back into the life and health questions so that they can update whatever it is that they need to update. So here we'll say that they went into my life and health and they forgot to tell, tell us about their foreign travel that's planned. And once they make that, once they make the update that they need to make, all they have to do is go back to the attestation and they will need to reattest before they can proceed. And as you can see, as they progress through different sections, there will be a green check mark as each section is completed. So I'm going to reattest because now I am done and I'm going to proceed.
And again, once the system's completed its processing, you, the financial professional, will receive notification that your client has completed their life and health. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the ACE Financial Professional Support Team at 1-866-223-7655. They are here Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Time to help you with any questions that you or your client may have.